So now I can just copy this and then go down and then paste it. And this is going to be the save. So I'm going to say save. So that's saving a server. All of these look good, but the only difference is we're going to go to save and this is going to be a post instead of a get. So we're going to say post. And now we need to pass in the request body because it's a post request. So we're going to make this observable, take the server. So we're going to go up here, open and close parentheses, and we're going to say this is going to take a server, which is going to be of type server and then put the error function here. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, error function, but these are technically error functions. And then here we can pass in this body. So we're going to say server and everything else is going to be the same. The only difference is this observable takes a parameter, which is the server, which is of type server. And we pass it here as the request body. Whenever we call server that save, this is going to be the body of the request. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this again. Going to go down, paste it. This is going to be the ping. So I'm going to change this to ping. And this is going to take the IP address. So I'm going to say IP address. And this time it's going to be a string. So I'm going to pass in the string, change the method to a get, and we don't need the body anymore. And this is going to go to ping. So we're going to pass in ping. And then we need to pass in the IP address as part of the URL. So we're going to do the same thing again, since we're using template literal and then pass in the IP address. And I'm going to copy this one more time, scroll down, paste it. This is going to be the delete. So I'm going to say delete and we need the server ID. So server ID, which in this case is going to be a number and pass in the server ID as part of the URL as well. And this is going to go to delete. So change the ping to delete and this is the delete request. All right. So let's go ahead and work on this uh, method down there. The first thing I want to do is to make it private because it's supposed to only be used inside of this uh, class and then console log that. So I'm going to say console that log and then pass in the error. Uh, let's see what this, what is this called? Uh, let's call this error. And this is going to be of type HTTP error response. So we have to go, we can type this properly. And then I'm going to copy this and then paste it. So this is going to be for our debugging purposes whenever we're debugging this application or running it so that we can see the error in the console if something happens. And I'm going to remove this extra space here and we can pass in any message that we want here. So I'm going to say an error occurred, for example, and then pass in the status code. So I'm going to do dash error code and then pass in the error code. So dollar sign, open and close curly braces, error that there's supposed to be a status on this. So error that status. So we can actually make this a lot more refined because right now I'm not really using all these stuff that I'm getting from the back end because I don't really want to focus on this too much. And the last function that we need inside of this class is the filter function. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this delete again and I'm going to put it before the delete and we're going to call this filter. So filter, what this is going to take is the status. So we're going to say status. So the status by which the user want to filter the servers by. So this is going to be of type status. So that's coming from our enum and we also need the response. So whatever the current response is or whatever the current data is, we need to access that. And I'm going to give this the type of custom response. And we're not going to be calling the back end to filter the notes because why would we do that if we already have everything right here in the front end already. So we're not going to do this line right here and instead we're going to create a new observable because we have to make this return observable. So I'm going to say new observable and we can also give it the type. So that's going to be of type uh, custom HTTP response and then open and close uh, parenthesis. And what we need is the subscriber. So we're going to give this any name that we want. Usually you would see that it's called subscriber and then call the callback function. And the first thing I want to do is to maybe like console log that so that we can see what we get. So I'm going to console log the response. And then the only thing I have to do is to call the subscriber and then call the next function on this. So the next function or method, it's just going to emit something to the observable. So whoever is subscribed to this observable, they would get this new value. In that case, since we said that it's going to be a custom HTTP response, then whatever we have to uh, next on here, it's supposed to be the custom HTTP response. So I'm going to do open and close um, parentheses. And what we have to do is to check to see what the status is. So if the status that we got from the function, if this is all, so we're going to put three equal signs and then check the status that all we're going to put a question mark. 
So if this is the case, we can just return the response because we don't need to filter anything because the user chose all. So that means they want to see all the servers. We don't need to do any filtering or anything like that. So I'm going to create a new object and I'm going to get everything that I already got from the response. So using the spread operator, so I'm going to do response. And the only thing that I want to override on the response is the message. So I'm going to say message and then we want to set this to some message. And if you remember from the demo, we pass in something like servers filtered by and then we can pass in the status so dollar sign open and close and then whatever status that they pass which in this case is going to be all and then we're going to say status 